Oh, you know what that jingle means, don't you? It's Friday, it's the weekend. <gasps> when the real me comes alive. Oh yes, we've all got that Friday feeling here at Crafters TV. What a weekend it is going to be. It is rose gold day, rose gold delicious day here on Crafters TV. We are kicking off. We're gonna take it a bit slow. We're gonna take it a bit calm. We're gonna do some fabulous coloring. And uh, then uh, a little bit later, we'll get into the rose gold shenanigans. Now I am not here on my own. There is a woman joining me today that has a temple of of pens next to her. A woman, a <laughs> woman. I'm not sure how that sounds. It sounds like there's a woman here today. Oh, it's Friday, folks. I cannot wait for tonight and five o'clock when it's gin o'clock in the Chivers household and it will be tonight. It's been one of those weeks, but like Joe says, we're just gonna chill out now because we all need a little bit of peace and relaxation in our lives occasionally. And my peace and relaxation is going to come with the next two hours of just coloring with you and showing you how fabulous our classic markers are and our color blend pencils both independently and together to make a beautiful combination so this is just um some examples i've got but i think joe might have something to say to you before i show you my samples oh no no you can go for oh, it sorry I'm just, having a good old, I'm just having a good old bit of gesticulation over here well, don't you worry about that that's okay that's good well look this is what we're going to be looking at um, during the course of the next couple of hours, you can see with these fabulous samples. Now we've got here some wonderful examples with our classic markers. We're going to be having a look at how to do these. Some butterflies in our technique kit, which you all need to get because they're exquisite. In fact, here they are. These butterflies are in the little um, Spectrum Art technique kit we've got. We're going to have a look at how we would colour those. We've also got the most amazing background and focal images that I have ever witnessed. These 8x8 stamp is amazing. You can see they're coloured with your classics is gorgeous. We've got these fabulous words, uh, which I adore, which are all intertwined with our another example here, just of how fabulous the dimension with classics is and the, the real blended, um, printed, exceptional soft focus feel you can get with them really truly beautiful and you can see here applies to many different types of image is oh put that upside down there a happy birthday in australia that was for a second um just really really gorgeous and of course we've got molly harrison and we've got a little bit of annabelle spensley as well oh we really have oh we were just having a few gremlins there at the start of the show which is what all of my gesticulation was about uh, <laughs> uh, with Facebook. Um, but now uh, we are with you on Facebook. If you missed the first minute and a half of the show, I was giving away all the gossip about the upcoming, uh, the next Sarah Signature Collection. I told you all the secrets. I gave you all the deals about the craft crews. And I didn't. I'm just teasing you. Uh, you didn't miss much. Well, you did miss much. You, you missed Leanne uh, giving us a lovely introduction to what you're going to be seeing today. But you're going to be seeing these gorgeous classic markers on the show, which is going to be amazing. We've also got the colour blend uh, pencils on the show for you as well. Right, should we dive in and have a look at what you have got coming up uh, on the show uh, today? We're going to start off with the 66 uh, with the 66 piece uh, classic marker collection. Now this is kind of the dip your toe in section. So this is everything that you can see uh, right here in front of me. So you've got 11 uh, of your six piece markers. Let me just show you roughly what you're getting. So you're getting Oh, I've dropped something. It's me pen. Don't you worry about that. Are you getting uh, all of what you can see uh, on the front of there? So this is all of your six piece collections right the way across there. It is a great starter kit. It's a great uh, try me kit, I think, for your alcohol markers. Remember, uh, our classics really are the top of the tree. A lot of you maybe have had tri blends. We'll now be coming back to upgrade to the markers. Now that is that one, 90 pounds or $115. Uh, you'll get um, free uh, shipping and handling in the US if you're going for that one. Uh, what you'll also get as well, what we also have on the show is a massive collection, which is actually far and away uh, the busiest. And what this does is it extends uh, your markers down. So it takes the colors that you already have and it's like the extender packs. It's gonna enable you to do even more amazing uh, blending and coloring and get even uh, greater depth and definition uh, to absolutely all of your uh, different projects that you've got there. Now, of course, the best way to get the best value comes in getting uh, the big collection, £179, $220. It is 
126 pieces. So it's almost double the size, uh, which is fantastic. You're also gonna get all the storage that you need, all the pen storage that you need with these as well, which is brilliant. Uh, I'll show you a picture of absolutely everything that you're getting. Uh, so you're getting the rocker blocks in here as well. You're getting some ink pads in there too. Uh, it's a really, really comprehensive kit uh, that you've got uh, and really everything in there uh, that one would need. Loads of people saying hello this morning. Don't forget as well that you can uh, get the free colouring download this morning uh, over on our website. There is a download to accompany every single one of our Crafters TV shows. Details are along the bottom of your screen uh, just there. Right, I want to dive in and show you some other stuff uh, that is coming up on the show today. Uh, we've also got our Colour Blend pencils on the show. Now this is a fantastic deal on these. You've got in this collection 12 of your bold brights, 12 of your soft tints. You've then got 24 packs of shade and tone, primaries, naturals and florals. Uh, you've got card in here. Um, you've got your essentials in there too, don't forget. And then you've got everything you need. It's great. £110 or $150 if you want to go for those. Leanne will be taking us through both the classics and the colour blend pencils today. Uh, there is a technique kit too. and This is a, a good try me kit. This might be a great care package maybe to have sent to someone else. We can do that. We can send uh, you the bill and them the pencils. We can't do it the other way around though, I'm afraid. Uh, £30 or $40 if you want to go for that one. Now, uh, some great decorative floral uh, stamps on the show today, $29.94 or $41.94 if you'd like to go for those. Up next, we've got the Annabelle Spenceleys. These are always so popular whenever we bring these to you. Uh, and with these, you're gonna get uh, some rocker blocks uh, thrown in there as well. $29.99 to get you six really gorgeous uh, stamp sets today. Uh, they are very, very busy already. No surprise whatsoever. Um, I need to talk about something that's, I said it was happening later and I wouldn't mention it too much during the show. However, if you uh, are sort of waiting until our later Rose Gold show later today, the launch of the Sara Signature Collection, in order to purchase, then you might want to think about getting your ordering before the show. Of the, in that later show, the, the buy the, uh, the the mega bundle that we've got, over half the stock has already gone. One of the bundles has already uh, sold out as well. Lots of the individuals have gone. I know some of the papers have gone too. Uh, there is loads uh, going to be coming up for you in that show uh, in the Craft House. That'll be at 4 p.m. here in the UK or 11 a.m. Uh, if you are over on the East Coast. Right, I love these shows, Leanne, because I'm ready to learn. I'm sure like everyone at home, I'm sort of knuckled down, poised, uh, ready ready to learn some fabulous techniques. Um, I know, I love them too, George. You know why? Because I just get to chill out for a couple of hours and have a nice time colouring and chatting with all of the friends there at home. And who doesn't like to have do a little bit of colouring and chatting along the way? Now, we're going to have a look at our classic markers first. And you can see here, these are actually my own personal classic markers from home. I brought them in in the car this morning with Mr C. Um, and just wanted to show you how I take them everywhere with me. They really are fabulous. And when you get that full collection, you can have a tower of beautiful colour like this as well. Well, and you'll see how they work together beautifully with all of the different stamps that we've got on the show. So first things first, just before we get colouring with a classic marker, let's talk about the things that you need and the preparation you need to have had in place before you start with your alcohol colouring. So I always say don't start colouring directly onto your glass mat, your table mat, your brown craft mat, your green craft mat, your best dining room table, your kitchen bench or your lap tray or wherever it is that you're colouring. You must always have some scrap paper down. So I've just got a sheet here of our marker paper. You could use Nina if you wanted to. And all of the colouring I do will be on top of that. And I will explain to you why um, in a second. I'm going to show you. So we need that scrap paper. We also need the correct ink pad for the job. So we need to have our finesse alcohol proof ink pad. Um, for when you're stamping and this is because it doesn't smudge, bleed, blur, it just gives you the perfect crisp uh, impression and works brilliantly with your alcohol markers. So that is what you need and you need the correct cardstock to colour onto. So you can see here again I've just cut to size some pieces of my Nina or Crafters Companion marker card, both work exactly the same and you're ready to go. Now, I'm going to be using my rocker block, which you can also get on the shore. But just before I do my stamping, I want to show you very quickly why it's important that you colour on your Nina and not a random piece of cardstock. So I'm going, I'm going rummaging here in my bin because I had a piece earlier. Here it is. Found it. So I've got a piece of watercolour cardstock here. 
I'm going to grab a piece of stamping card because I've got a bit of that knocking around. There it is, a piece of stamping card. And I've got a piece of Nina. And I'm going to show you the different result with all three. And then we're going to challenge our fabulous camera people to get really close when I show you this because this is what's going to help you really understand what I mean about get the right card for the job. So I've just picked out one of my markers and we'll talk around the um, aesthetics of the marker in a second. But first things first, we're going to do the 10 second test with your alcohol marker. Now, I'm going to use my bullet tip and firstly, I'm going to do my 10 second test on my appropriate alcohol marker. And this is my uh, Nina, I've got Nina and marker card here. So you hold your pen down. I'm going to hold my pen down and I'm going to count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you'll see when I've done that 10, the size of the dot I have. Okay, and I want to explain to you why this is important in a second. Because this will help you all understand why you need to get the right card. Here's a piece of watercolour card alongside, which we're now going to do the 10 second test on. And we're going to do exactly the same again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you will be able to see the difference in size of my dot. This is double the size of this one. Now with the, with the stamping card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that dot is double again. Can you see that there? So it's gone from small, medium to large, the dot. Now, let me explain to you why that's important, because watching me count to ten three times, um, first thing on a Friday morning, isn't the most insulating demonstration on TV, is it, Joe? I think you're quite intuitive today, because Therese has already asked, quick question, what's the difference between the Nina and the stamping? Uh, so and, there you go. And this is exactly what I'm going to explain to you. Now, what is happening here is, with the Nina card, your alcohol marker is not being sucked out of the pen and spread into the fibres of the card because this is lovely and smooth but not coated but it will only take the amount of ink that I choose to lay down from my pen which gives me the superior blending results I need. The watercolour card and the stamping card are very porous and it's a little bit like cotton wool and water so it's capillary action. What that's doing is sucking the ink out of the nib of the pen. So it's drawing it down into the card and spreading it out, which makes it much bigger and actually means you don't get the control when you're colouring. You don't get the precision when you're colouring. And that's how you get all of the bleeding and blurring and fuzzing outside of your stamped lines if you're not using the correct cardstock. So that is why I always wax lyrical about having Nina or Crafters Companion marker card when you're doing alcohol colouring. The 10 second dot test perfectly demonstrates that. Okay, so I wanted to explain why it's so important that you have this cardstock and not just any piece of random cardstock you've got at home. Now the next thing to show you is I've got my um, craft mat, that's the word I was looking for, craft mat and piece of card underneath what I'm going to do my colouring. Now I might be doing some good lay down of colour and getting some nice saturation so I can do some colouring and I'm doing that here. What's going to happen is the ink is going to come through the cardstock and on through this piece here and you might just be able to see the faint impression there and I'm going to grab a piece of kitchen towel and just show you what's happened. The, oh it's dried because it dries really quick. The pink has come through onto my craft mat and if I kept going I'd get more. Okay, because it goes through. Now, it's important to get a smooth blend. There you go. You can see that that comes through onto your craft mat. That you get that full saturation. Your ink will and should come through your card. However, if you're doing that onto your craft mat, onto your good kitchen table, well, this is an alcohol ink, so it's going to take all of the surface off your good kitchen table. You don't want to do that. But in terms of your precise alcohol colouring, what you need is for that ink to be blotted away. Because if it's not blotted away into a piece of scrap like this, and it'll be, I'll just keep going. You'll see it come, you'll see it come through the other side and then blot onto my cardstock. If I haven't got that blotter here, what happens is the ink pools on the craft mat and then sucks back up through the card, spreads out and doesn't give you precise colouring. So it's really important that you've got that in place. So that's me waxing lyrical about the right card stocks for your alcohol colouring. 
Uh, I've got loads of card stock available on the show for you. Saw uh, some pop up there as well. The Nina one, of course, is the one uh, that you want to go. Is the Nina uh, going to be suitable for the colour blend pencils as well, Leanne? Or are we after a different kind of, of colour? So uh, card I flow? prefer stamping card. Okay. For uh, you, colour blend pencils will work on all of your card stocks, with the exception of anything coated. So your mirror cards, your glitter cards, things like that, they will not work. It'll just slide off. Any uncoated material, colour blend will work on. Even a piece of slate, a piece of wood, a piece of MDF, colour blend will work brilliant on there because they're wax-based pigment. I prefer the result I get using stamping card because I've got a bigger tooth in my card and I get more colour and vibrant colour. And when we come to look at the colour blend pencils, I'll explain that to you a little bit more um, in a few minutes once we've done the Annabelle Spensley. So stick with us and I'll show you exactly as I've done with the 10 second dot test. Wonderful. We'll do the same with Nina and um, stamping card for the colour blend pencils. Fantastic. Uh, any questions that you've got about absolutely anything in the show, this is really definitely the chance for you to get them into us. Uh, the other thing uh, to know is, oh, I've got a new box. It's another new box, uh, Leanne. I love oh. that my box is getting fancy now. It's great, isn't it? I know. This one's got a logo on it and everything. I Look think it's at great. you um, I know. Uh, I mean, I'm just blown away by my own box. I don't know what I can say. Um, what I was saying was, uh, yeah, any questions that you've got, get them in. I'm monitoring the conversation on the Crafter TV Facebook page. Also, don't forget any pictures you want to share with us. This is definitely the show uh, that you want to share them with us. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk uh, and we will uh, try and share as many of those uh, as we can. A lot of people asking if I'm going to be wearing the gold leggings. Did you see the gold leggings, Leanne? I did see them. Uh, I'm not wearing them uh, for this evening's show because it is going to be 27. I might have them on now for all you know. Uh, it's going to be 27 today uh, and uh, no, I think I'd have to cut them off if I was wearing them today. Yeah, I think you would. This, well, either that would be like it'd be like wrapping yourself in cling film, wouldn't it? Like Absolutely. when I have those spas where you lose loads of weight. So, absolutely. Can I, please, can I loan your gold leggings because yeah, um, I really need to well, do that. Well, talking about losing, I did. I was a bit trimmer in the photo I posted as well. And the thing is, um, I uh, bought some kitchen. I'm trying to. I've been good on my diet this week, and then I'm awful at the weekend. It just happens every single week. Well, I bought some scales, bathroom scales last night from, from Tesco. Other bathroom scale shops are available. Um, and got it home, took the tab out, put them on the floor. And rather than weighing me or even displaying an error message, all the numbers just started flickering and flashing, Leanne. Oh. Couldn't do anything. So oh, you know rude. that really it's not meant to happen. You know it's bad when the scales are protecting you from your own truth. <laughs> They're rude skills. Someone offered me a slice of cheesecake earlier and I was like, absolutely not. I mean, I can't. Not, my scales no, won't even let me on. And, and I brought you in a piece of chocolate fudge cake today. And I've said no. It's I not know. like me, is it? I know. I brought it in specially for you. I mean, I'm, have, I'm having pizza tonight. I'm having fish and, chi fish and chips on Saturday. And I'm going to have a full English breakfast on Saturday as well. So, I mean, I do need to be good for the weekend. Yeah, you do. And quite a lot of uh, wine too. Yeah, why not? It's the weekend. Why uh, not? Why not? It's the law. It's the weekend. <laughs> now, you'll notice what I did here. I stamped my little Annabelle Spensley lady here, and I love her. And I've started to colour her skirt. So the first thing I did was put some... Um, first my first colour my lightest colour so I'm working with three and in the sets that we've got for you on the show jaw all of these sets of three colours are worked out for you so I've got my light my medium and my dark colour I put my light down first because wet ink blends better than dark ink then I put in where I wanted the dimension on my skirt with my dark pen and now what I'm doing is just bringing that together with the medium pen and so if I show you that again I've got the lightest colour down already the darkest colour here is where the folds would be and helpfully those little lines, those little shaded lines um, included on the stamp help you understand where the folds would be. So I put the dark in. Then with the medium I just bring that dark out a little bit into the first layer of the lightest colour so I get a lovely little blend going on there. And then I take my lightest colour which was the first colour I started with and I blend that medium colour out into the rest of the skirt and I'll get some lovely dimension and fold on the skirt and we can keep going back with the layers to build that up until we're really happy with it and that's what I'll keep doing so that's the good thing about alcohol markers as well you can go back over the top and layer the color you don't have to stick with your first time impression until you get used until you get to the point where you're really happy and it looks how you would like it to look. What's going on in the in the Chibs household this weekend, Leanne? 
In the Chef's household this weekend, there's going to be, um, well, I'm going to know a lot of things. Um, as always, and there'll be a lot of wine consumed, maybe a book yeah. read as well. I might have a little, I might have a couple of spritzes, a couple of Sauvignon Blanc spritzes. Um, might have a little gin and tonic. A friend bought me some uh, gin and tonic, uh, herbal, herbal like, you know when you put rose petals and it makes it pink and you put peppercorns in. Hibiscus flowers, yeah, like those, yes, like the dried ones flowers. you have in your, in your champagne. Yes, so they bought me two, two gin mixing kits which um, has got all of the different accoutrements in. Accoutrement so, is a good, solid word. I like accoutrement. It's mm. good, isn't it? Um, for me to mix lots of different flavours and um, types. So I think I'm going to try them out this weekend. Um, and I'm finishing off making some baby rompers. Rompers? Rompers. Right. I always like the idea of a romp. Because you can get rompers for grown-ups now, can't you, for men? Have you seen them? Can you? Adult rompers. You're not seeing them. What, like those? Super Mario? No, they're kind of like, sh they're like shorts and a, and a shirt, like a short sleeve shirt, but they're all one. Oh. And they're made in like really bright fabrics. They're not made for this kind of body shape, I'll be honest. They're made for a sort of slim hipped, wide thighed kind of guy, which is not what I am. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suit a romper either, Joe. I have to say. <laughs> yeah, rompers and me would not get on. I'd but look more like a sleeping bag in a romper. <laughs> This is for this is for a baby, so not a three little like dungaree rompers. So I'm going to do them. I've got a blanket to finish crocheting as well, so I'm probably going to do that. Um, I'm just going to relax, Joe. I'm going to relax. Nice. Do a oh, bit well, of the other great thing is we can all start planning to have people come stay now, can't we? So we I am can. looking forward to filling my diary with visits to other people, other people coming to visit. Obviously, only one household at a time, but it is exciting. It is exciting. Um, and actually, on that note, I'm going to be seeing my son and his girlfriend. Really? For, yes, for the first time in six months. Amazing. I bet you made up. I know. I can't wait. Are you going to cry? Be, oh, of, of course. <laughs> I know, but, and it's going to be hard because can't, we can't hug. So we can see the family, can't yeah, we? But no the room hugging. Is no hugging. So we'll just look at each other and I'll cry. He'll roll his eyes and tut um, <laughs> because I'm crying. Tell me to get a grip, mother. I think you'll get a bit emotional yourself. Yeah, tell me to get a grip, mother, and uh, and then everything will be good in the world. Yeah, it'll be good. I'm looking forward <laughs> to seeing them because I bet. Um, since I found out that Annie was um, having a baby and that I'm going to be a grandma. Was that the last time you saw them? Yeah. Oh, that was forever ago. That was your birthday, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? It really is. But you is. know, it's just everybody's been doing the same thing, haven't they? We've all been in the same situation, so you just got to get on with it. Uh, I'm going with a little bit of colour clashing here, Joe. That's all right. So I've got my... <laughs> I love that I'm saying it's all right, like it works. I don't know if it works or not. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's all right at all. So I'm just, I'm just here to encourage you at all costs, Leanne. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know, well, you've got history for choosing colours, haven't you, yes. Joe? You've got, yeah, it's not good history. <laughs> no. Um, so I'm going with a nice burnt orange top here. So you notice I put the light colour down first and then I've got my darkest colour here. I'm just putting in the shaded areas. And then what I'm doing is taking my middle colour and I'm blending the dark out into the light. So always work in threes. And the sets that we've got for you on the show, your colours are all grouped in threes. So you don't have to worry about that. And then when you drag that out, you've got that lovely dimension that you want in your colouring. Um, and it's very, very easy to achieve. Uh, I've waited easy. a long time to say this, Leanne. Yeah? Uh, Jan Roberts is saying, good morning from New Baltimore. Good morning, Baltimore. Oh, hello, it's good to what, have you. What I've is waited that, ages. Joe? Is that Sorry, a thing? it's from Hairspray. Oh, I've seen Hairspray Opening well. song. Boom, yeah, I've seen boom, that, boom, Sean. Boom, I don't remember boom, it. Boom, boom. But that's enough for me. Uh, also, yeah, Sonia's in saying hello. I see Sam is here saying good morning. <gasps> Sarah Brown says, OMG, I made it. I was on the phone. I thought I missed it. Phew. Uh, I'm glad you made it here uh, as as well. Uh, I have, My hair is not far from Tracy Turnblad's hair at the moment, as has rightly been po uh, pointed out by uh, Matt Cam, di director Matt Cam, which doesn't make any sense, does it? Uh, Matt is directing our show today. But yes, we've all got the big hair going on. I can't wait to get it cut. It's a week on Tuesday, Leanne. It's all coming off. Um, so we're doing the face now with the bare skin jaw. Um, we've got that collection in, I think, in the set as well. And so I'm just colouring on the lightest colour. There we go. And so you'll know, you'll realise that I do this. I say this to you all the time. Lightest colour do goes down first, which gives you um, the base and the moisture to go on with your darkest colours. And then I've got my 
a darker colour. You'll notice I scribble off my mat sometimes just to chew, just to make sure that I've got the right colour that I want to use. Okay. Notice that. I do that just to check that it's going to work with the combination that I'm working with. And that goes around the periphery of her face. And again, these groups of three are all worked out for you in the collections that we've got available for you. So you don't have to worry about wondering whether you are picking the correct three colours to go together because they're helpfully hand-picked and organised into those colour sets by me, just to make it easy for you. Now, I've got a nice pink one here, and I think this is going to be good for, no, too light for blush. I want a different one here. Let's go with peach. Let's have a nice peach blush on her today. I think it'll suit her. So I'm just going to bring in from the side of her face here, just a little, a little squiggly triangle. And then I go with my colour that I was using previously. I just go round the outside of it. And what that does is soften the edges. Um, and you can see that that starts to come together. Oh, just a little squiggle on her face there. Let's tidy that up. Now, if you do a mistake like that, there's a good, here's a good thing for you. I did a little squiggle on her face and I've got a lump where I don't want a lump. Take your lightest colour and just work over that. And what that will, it helps if you pick your lightest one up and not your darkest. Right, pick your lightest colour up and work over it. And what you're doing then is pushing that through the layers of the cardstock but also the lightest colours will bleach out the darker colours. So it allows you to bleach that out and remove the mistake that you made. Um, and then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do her hair in the same way as I did her skirt and then do some eyes as well. Wonderful. Right, I need to run you through what you're getting. Uh, Marjorie is saying hello from Finland. Uh, those are the markers I have. Just so excited to, to see how to colour with them. i never seen a tutorial how to. Loving my markers. Look forward to colour more with them. Right, let me go through uh, exactly what you are getting included. So you've got uh, the uh, smaller collection, uh, firstly, of the two. Now, uh, this is everything uh, that you're getting just here. So you are getting, I'm going to point them out to you as we go along. You're going to get, you're getting six uh, in each of these, by the way. So you're going to get the reds. The yellows, uh, you're getting your greens in here, turquoises, uh, browns, blues, uh, purples, and then you've also got pinks, greys, dark skin, and your shade and tone as well. So you're getting uh, that's 66 markers in total within it, which is great value. You're going to get the storage trays in order to enable you to store them as well. £90 or $115 if you want to get them. That means everyone's saving, even if you're not a Club Inspire member. Look, the, 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 the prices we bring you here are absolutely off the chart, whether you are a Club Inspire member or not. The Club Inspire bit is just like an extra... Brucey bonus on top of that. Everyone saves $39.86 or 74, so £39.86 pence or $74.40 is your saving on that. However, uh, lots of you I know are uh, platinum members. Uh, if you are a platinum member, you'll pay £72 for that or $92. That would be a saving of £57 or $97.40, which is great. So you're actually just saving uh, more than you're spending in the US, which is really, really incredible value. Now, we also have the 126 piece collection. Now, this is the one that is far and away uh, the most popular because what you're going to get is you're going to get all of that that I've just shown you there and you're going to get these 12 pieces. Now, what the 12 pieces do is they take the original collection and they extend it out. They give you more variance on those colours, more depth, more variation, more shade you're able to achieve. Remember as well, it's artist quality that we're talking about, Japanese nibs in here as well. They are all totally refillable. This is something that is going to last you a very, very, very long time. So it's why I think, yes, it is a considered purchase, absolutely, £179 or $220, but four times as many of you are going for this one as you are uh, going for this one over here. So in this collection, you're also then going to get the pastels. Uh, you're going to get the jewels, the vintage, the florals, and the natures in here. Now they are 12 piece packs. You're also going to get in there as well, uh, the ink pad trays, which is fantastic. You're going to get uh, the ink, uh, so the ink, the pen trays, the ink pads, and you're going to get the rocker blocks in there as well. Now the value on this gets even better with this collection because what you're doing is everyone, regardless again of whether you are in the club or not, everyone is saving £135.76 or £152.76. However, if you're a platinum member, oh yeah, it gets, I mean it gets 
like so good now. 143.20 is what you'd pay for all of this. Um, also, if you're in the US, you'd pay $152.76 to get all of this. Now, that means platinum members in the UK, you save £171.56. That is way more than you're saving. Uh, US members in the plat platinum members, you're saving $272.84 on something you're paying $176 for. It is shut the front door, shut the back door, run up the street and colour the milkman in a uh, kind of good value that we're talking about today. It's why everyone that is going for these, barring a couple of you going for the big collection, don't forget as well what you'll also get is free shipping and handling when you're going for the big collection and you'll get free postage and packaging in the UK as well. Uh, it's an amazing deal and it's definitely the best deal that everyone waits for. Uh, how are you getting on over there, Leanne? I'm getting on great, I think, Jo. I'm getting... I'm She's coming along nicely. She's almost done, but there's loads of other things I want to show you. So I would finish the bow in her hair. But if I show you a couple of finished samples of these Annabelle Please Spencer do. shamps, should, should I? Shamps? What's a shamp? Um, it's a stamp, but with um, shampoo built in. Um, here we go. So you can see these. Now, we've got lots of examples here. And you can see there's the little girl that I've just been colouring in for you. You see how she's been done. And then we've got this little one on a swing. And these are all done with alcohol markers. And you can see, once they're coloured in, so there's a brilliant example for me. Same little girl, looks entirely different because we've coloured her in differently. We've done the composition on the card differently. Um, and there's a lovely shopping one that you get there. She's gorgeous. There's another little one like I've been colouring, but she's a little bit more vintage and muted. Oh, I love this. Look at this. I'm just going to pick up the one I've done and show you the three. And you can see the same character looks so different depending on how you colour it in by changing her hair tone, her skin tone, her dress, how you put the composition together. Just really brilliant. And that's what stamps are perfect for and colouring with your alcohol markers yourself because it allows you to choose what you like or what the person you're sending the card looks like. Mm, yeah, and it really is great. I think they're just so young and playful, aren't they? Just so like fresh and modern, uh, which is amazing. Now, getting very, very busy uh, across everything you've seen so far on the show. I want to give you a chance to check out your baskets already. Uh, if you are new to us here at Craft TV, you might be, you might be watching us on f uh, Facebook and unsure how you shop with us. Here uh, is a piece of video that shows you how you can watch and shop at the same time. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions and lol with us or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Uh, all the details there, of course, of how you can watch the shop. At the same time, getting very, very busy. Please make sure you send your pictures into us. We love seeing your pics uh, in our Colour Me Happy shows. Loads of you uh, tuning in, saying hello uh, this morning. Barbie's in uh, this morning. She's saying I uh, loves the Nina uh, as well. Um, Robin's in from Maryland. Happy for happy Friday to you, Robin, uh, in Maryland. Malia's in as well. Uh, Malia is in Hawaii. It's very late in Hawaii. Uh, she also says uh, about the paper t uh, that you were showing, Leanne, that the paper really makes a difference. When first purchased the Spectrum Nile Makers markers way back, I used it on different paper and it, ble it bled a lot. Uh, when, got more, when I got more into using the markers with the right paper, it was way better. Uh, Lynn says she learns something new with us every day as well. Uh, a few of you um, saying that you're not seeing all of the items on the website at the moment. So uh, what I need you to do is uh, refresh the page, basically, uh, and then you should 
should uh, clear the problem. If it doesn't uh, work, uh, we are we know about it. It's not affecting all of you. It's only affecting uh, a few of you. Uh, but if you're not seeing all the pages in the shop, the show, uh, then please uh, refresh. Maybe even try logging out and logging back in again. Uh, we do know about it, and we're sorting it out. Oh my lordy, the gold leggings says I don't worry, uh, Ray. I'm saving you. Are you wearing them, Joe? No, I am not. Uh, now, any uh, questions that you've got, a call, of course, makes uh, make you make sure you get them into us. Uh, question quickly for you, Leanne. Uh, Malia says, Joe, can you ask Leanne if the 66 of the classic uh, is the same as the original Spectrum Noir markers, please? The 66 of the classic. That's the 12 bundle over there. That's yes. The, yes, um, this one here. Okay, so yes, the configuration is the same. You get your three cool and your three warm of all of the colours in there. But what you're getting with these new markers is the improved formula, the Japanese nibs, you're getting an improvement in the blends of the colours that move between. Um, so they're the upgraded, improved version of the marker. But the theory in terms of the colours that go in there are the same as your original, if that makes sense. Fantastic. It makes total sense. Right. Very busy now on the classic markers. I want to share with you as well uh, the um, technique kit for the colour blend pencils. Uh, this one here, £25 if you want to go for this. Uh, you've got three stamp sets in there and you've also got uh, your dies in there too, which is fantastic. Uh, they're £25, $35, over 45% off there on that one if you want to go for that. Uh, and I think Leanne's going to guide us through uh, a part of this as well. So I'm going to hand you back to Leanne. I'm going to dive into these comments and find some and get everyone's questions out ready for a little bit of a Q&A in about 20 minutes time, if that's right, Leanne. Perfect, absolutely perfect. So what I was just doing while we were having a little chat there is I was stamping one of those butterflies from the technique kit, which I've done, and then I've got the die and I've just taped it over the top of the butterfly and I'm going to run that through my Gemini and cut it out now so that we can have a look at what it looks like when it's coming in. And I do love, I've got my little Gemini down here, um, I do love sets where we've got technique sets like this where you've got lots of different things you can try. And I'm going to try and go through most of the things in that little bundle to show you how you'd be able to use them because it really does focus on giving you lots of different things to try without having to buy deep into a full collection of anything. Um, and then it allows you to choose what it is you particularly love and want to do. So you see, I've used my die and cut that out and look how perfect and precise that is. It's absolutely beautiful and very easy to line up. And I've done that on my, either my Nina or my marker card, whichever you prefer. Now I know just before I go on to colour this in, I just want to talk to you about rocker blocks because I know we've got rocker blocks on the show today, don't we? We do indeed. Um, and I have to say this, I would never have stamped live on TV before I had a rocker block and I used to demonstrate on TV um, previous to working for Crafters Companion as well and I would not do stamping shows because there was so much that could go wrong. Then Sarah gave me a set of rocker blocks and my life was transformed because when you use your rocker block it doesn't matter if you get ink all around the outside and see my blocks a bit dirty here you just get perfect impression time after time after time because of that rocking motion and you don't have to worry about over inking or transference of that so it takes all of the concern that you might have had from stamping before out of that stamping and makes it very easy and accessible for you so i've stamped one of the butterflies i've got two now we're going to we're going to color the one that i've got um Cut out, that's the word I'm looking for, cut out. Now, what colours should we do? Do we think, should we oh, do yellows? Should we do yellows? Should we do a yellow Beautiful. butterfly or a blue or a turquoise? All of them. Oh, right, we'll do <laughs> yellow, blue, my word. Yellow, blue and turquoise, there's a Why challenge. Why not? Live your life in full yeah. colour, that's what I say, Leanne. Yeah. Yeah, you do. I know I've heard you say it. <laughs> uh, of this technique kit, I need to let you know uh, that a fifth of the stock has already gone of that. Uh, and this will work, I'm right in thinking, will it with both your colour blend and your classics, this uh, technique kit, Leanne? It will. Absolutely it will. Um, and uh, really, really good. I've got a couple of other samples in there, which I'll show you. We'll get our colour blend pencils out and we'll have a look. Um, but I'm just using classic again here for now. And I've got my CT4, which is the darkest. And then I've got my CT3, uh, sorry, I'm going to use CT2, CT2 in the pack. I'm going to use the same colours that you get in your kit so you can see what happens. And that's the next lightest, that's bringing that out a little way. 
the darkest out. Now you might be watching and thinking, why did you not put your lightest colour on first, Leanne? You why always did tell you us to not do. Put your lightest on first, I Leanne? know because I broke the rules, and the oh, the time I break the rule is when I've got a very small area to colour. When you've got a very small area to colour, if you do the saturate it with light first and then dry and drag it out, you can lose that movement and definition from dark through to light. Um, and so if you look if you've got a small area that is the only time I would say break the rule and don't put your lightest color down first now I've started to color that butterfly and it looks gorgeous but I just want to bring in a set of my pencils Joe, because I want to show you why and how these pencils work brilliantly with your alcohol coloring as well now um, I've just done a little bit of yellow there and my three markers my CT one, two, and four do give me a lovely yellow transition. But what if I want that yellow transition to be better than that? Well, using your pencils over the top of your markers will do that for you. And what you need to do is use a different colour or a colour in the same family or a, a more intense version of that colour. Add a little bit of your pencil on there, which you can see I've done here. And then, if you've got blending solution at home already and paper stumps, you can use your blending solution and paper stumps to do this. Or, if you haven't invested in that yet and you just want to get some pencils to try this, then all you need to do is take your blender pen. Now, if you're going to use a blender pen for this technique, as I am here, you need to keep... You see, I was staring at my make sure I had another one there um, you need to keep this blender pen with your pencils and only ever use it for your pencils and I, I'm gonna st we're gonna stop now Joe and we're gonna we're gonna have a little chat in the law court of Leanne oh here we go here we go this is legally bound binding uh, I did through the T's and C's what you're about to hear is not the uh, opinion of Craig and Cro of uh, Crafts Companion and its shareholders it is the opinion solely of Leanne uh, any indemnities that may apply uh, are not legally binding uh, and yes we love you all there you go uh, however, I will come round and knock on your door personally and wag my finger at you um, and nobody wants that, trust me, if you should do this. So you must, here we go, I do solemnly, everybody got your hands up, I do solemnly swear. I do declare. That I will never. I will never. Use a blender pen that I use with my colouring pencils. Use a blender pen that I use with my colouring pencils. For anything else other than said technique for anything else other than said technique thank you very much uh, get yourself over to the website uh, the blending pens are available individually on their own i believe on the website so pop across there it's always great to have a couple of those it's something you use a lot isn't it leanne i use it for lots and lots and we're going to talk about it more it's also in one of those fabulous six sets that you've got in that lovely it is. 64 it's in, piece but it's in the essential one it is so you. it's in both sets whether you're going so for you the small it. one or the large one yeah. you'll get it in both which it. is fantastic now this was what i'm going to do here is i'm going to spread the pencil out into the alcohol marker so I'm going up to the end of the pencil with my blender pen and then I'm able to use that to blend that pencil as if it was a marker look how magical that is um, and it allows you to get that extra level of depth dimension color and technique to your alcohol coloring by just intensifying intensifying it slightly now seeing here what's happened on the nib of my marker is I've got a little bit of that yellow left so I need to scribble that off and the reason I say to you only ever use this marker for your pencils is because when you've done this quite a bit for this technique the wax that you're melting from your pencil the wax that you're emulsifying in your pencil with this blender pen will eventually and this is a disclaimer will eventually clog that nib and stop the blender ink from in your pen flowing however it doesn't do it immediately and it doesn't do it after one image usually it's at about the time I need to refill the blender pen so what I say is at the time you would refill your blender pen with your refill we have replacement nibs change your nib at the same time and just keep this one blender pen as the one that you use to do your blending with your pencils and your alcohol markers. Wonderful. Uh, Sarah is uh, wins the internet for the worst uh, spell check fail today. Does she? She's put rocks licks I meant to say in lady post, Joe. What on earth is that? <laughs> rocks licks I What's... meant to say in lady post, Joe. <laughs> 
<laughs> something in the later post, Joe. Rocker blocks, I meant to say in the last oh, post, Joe. <laughs> rocker blocks, right. <laughs> right. That is a really good one. I love that. That is a good one. <laughs> so we're going to do some turquoise now because he did say you'd like to see some turquoise as well, Joe. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit here. I've got my three colours again, as you would expect. Now, I've got a little bit of a larger area here, so I'm going to show you the difference. So this is my lightest colour down first to get the card wet. And then I've got my darkest colour here. And my darkest colour goes over the top. So this is the most traditional technique for alcohol colouring that I show you all the time. I then use my middle colour. My middle colour brings the darkest out into that first layer of the lightest colour that I put down. And then I go back to my lightest colour and I bring that medium colour out into my preserved highlight, which is the white card that was left behind. And you can see you get that beautiful colour transition from dark through to light. And also, normally you'd use the you'd use a stump, would you, in a blending solution if you wanted to as well. I would. Uh, the blending solution is out of stock at the moment. We're back in stock soon enough, though. So what it says, if you are ordering these pencils, definitely pop over to the website uh, where it says it's sold out. There'll be a box underneath. You can pop your email address in there, and we'll email you as soon as that product comes back in stock. So you can make sure you've got it. Uh, where else could I mean, if we wanted to get it immediately, the bl that blending solution? Where else could we get? Could, could we get it anywhere else on High Street? Well, do you know could if you, you get some on Amazon? Well, so out, not as well. If the, you could search Spectrum Noir Blender Solution, they might have some on Amazon. Why okay, not? That's have a check. A great idea. Um, have a check. But you know, if you haven't got your Spectrum Noir Blending Solution, another thing you can use uh, quite effectively is baby oil. Oh, really? Um, yeah, just with a cotton bud or with your blending stumps. So it doesn't work as well as the blending solution, but right. it does give you a very similar result. And of course, you can see here as well um, with the uh, blending pen that I used and I keep only for using with my pencils I got that beautiful result with them as well and so it's very easy to do and can I just show you now how the pencils work together on their own without using any markers on the bottom of this butterfly and then I'll show you how your blending pen works with that as well and then yes, you've seen please. all of the techniques why not uh so let me run you through uh, the big collection of the pencils and everything that you're getting uh, included in there. So, uh, big collection uh, is this one just here. Now, in here, what you're going to get is uh, everything uh, you can see here. So, with regards to your pencils, uh, you're going to be getting, firstly, this one here, which is your uh, bold and bright, as you can see. So, that one's coming included. This is one of the uh, six pieces that you've got uh, in here. We've then got for you, as well, the next one is your soft tints which is this one just here so that's another uh, 12 piece sorry that's coming included for you you've then got a 12 piece of the shades and tones uh, and again you can see you get a lovely indication of all the colors uh, that you've got along the bottom of the tin there you've then got the primary which is your next one just here as you can see uh, you've got your naturals which is gorgeous look at the colorways you're able to get that uh, you've got florals in here and then you've also got essentials in there too, which is fantastic. That's not all you're getting though, because you are going to get uh, the rubber stamp. Oh, I've got it. I've got, there's a lot of stuff on this show today. You know, I've got it just here. Let me show you. I've got your uh, stamp here, uh, which is your butterfly meadow. And you're going to get uh, the rocker blocks in there as well. You get the white stamping card and you also get uh, the correct ink pad that you're going to need to allow you to do uh, all of these fantastic techniques. £110 or £150. Um, Club Inspire Platinum members in the UK would save £22. Uh, in the US you'd save $30. Everyone would get free shipping and handling and free postage and packaging on that as well, which is fantastic. Uh, right, uh, these, why are these not just a pencil, Leanne? Because I know a lot of people say, don't they? A lot of people look at that price on the screen of £110 and there we go, £110 for colouring pencils, but it's really not. You can't compare apples with apples sometimes, can you? You can't. And I'm just going to grab a piece of stamping card again. Is that my stamping card? Yes, it is. That's my name. Yes, it is. Um, and I'm going to show you the difference between the two. I'm not sure that is my stamping card. Yes, there it is. I'm going to use this piece. There's my stamping card. You can make sure I've got the right piece because I'm telling all of you, don't use any piece of random card from your stash and then I'm getting random pieces of card from my stash from under the desk. Right, so I've got a piece of stamping card here and a piece of Nina. These are... Um, pure pigment so these are not when you get colored pencils in the high street and you can get 24 pencils for 4.99 
those pencils are not meant to be used for artist quality application. They're meant to be used by kids and by people who are just colouring in a colouring book. Now, an artist quality pencil has superior pigment inside and it doesn't have any fillers. The 4 99 for 24 pencils that you get on the high street will have fillers. And by fillers I mean chalk, talc, ground up mineral, anything to dilute the pigment, the amount of pigment required in the pencil so that it's cheap to be made, to dilute that so they can get more pencils made for bang for their book with the expensive pigment in there. When we make our pencils, we use 100% pigment. There is no filler, no spreader, no bulker, nothing used in there other than the pure pigment. So these are artist quality. And when you use natural pigments, which are different to a dye, pigments appear naturally in the world. So it's from plants and from rocks and from stones. You grind and get those colours where a dye is man-made and is synthetic. Pigment does not dilute or fade. Pigment will um, not fade in the daylight as a dye would. So you've got pure pigment in here and then you've got a beautifully soft, smooth wax as well. And the difference between the wax we have in our pencil and the wax that you might see in other wax-based pencils on the high street is they might have wax equivalent to a tea light candle we have got wax equivalent to the finest quality beeswax that you polish your furniture with. It isn't beeswax, but it's of the same quality in terms of its, its purity and its softness and its smoothness for when you're laying your pencils down. Now, that is why colour blend pencils are superior to just regular high street pencils and they are equivalent to all of the other artist grade pencils out there. You will get no reduction in performance but you get them for a fraction of the price so that is what and why a colour blend pencil is and I'll show you how it works now now earlier you heard me talk to you about the tooth of the card didn't you I said oh my stamping card has a bigger tooth than my Nina card so I'll get better a vibrant colour so let me explain to you what I mean by that this if we were to put the surface of cardstock under a microscope, this is what I mean by tooth of the card. This is what you would see, magnified by 200 million or whatever it is. Okay, and it's because it looks like a series of teeth. Now, what you end up with is little wells here, which when you're laying your colour down, when you're colouring with your pencils and, you're la and you, layer it, you are laying your colour down, what you're doing is adding a little bit of colour to each of those wells. Now you can see that that's quite soft the colour at the minute and it's quite grainy but where it's overlapping it's creating a new colour of purple and I'm just going to put a couple of little layers on here so you can see that for when I explain to you about the the tooth of the cardstock. Okay so you can see there starting to build up and I've got blue through purple into pink it still looks grainy because I can still see pieces of white cardstock underneath. What's happening when I'm doing this is I'm putting in a little bit of blue into my wells like this. So I'm putting my colour in and it's getting a little bit of blue in there. And then when I go and layer my pink, it's getting a little bit of pink in there like this. So the colours are, are being put into the little wells, but the well isn't full which is why it looks grainy and there's a little bit of white left. So what you do with your colour blend pencils is you keep gently adding the colour over the top of each other and as you do that, you can see that the colour intensifies. And notice I'm holding my pencil right at the end. That's why I can't apply too much pressure at once and I'll talk to you about too much pressure at once in a second as well. So you can see there by just keep varying the two pencils overlapping it in the centre, layering up my colour, the colour gets more and more intense as we go and it overlaps and creates the purple in the centre. And what's happened here in my little wells is I've kept putting a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue, a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue, a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue, which fills up the whole well and allows you to mix this new colour in the centre. So I'm hoping that, that that's really clear for you all. Now, just to explain the difference between 
my stamping card and my Nina. They're the wells on my stamping card, which is allowing me, and I've still got loads more to go here. This is still grainy. I could still keep adding more and more until I get that beautiful soft waxy finish of my pink and my blue over the top of each other. And you can see the more I do that, that beautiful intense purple I mix in the centre. That's why they're called a blendable pencil because you can use them together, blend new colours, overlay. The tooth on my Nina card, if I was to put it into the same magnification as my stamping card here, would be like this. I was asking Leanne, can you put the blending solution in as a refill into your colour blender? I'm guessing not. Into your into your blender marker? Yeah. No. No. Not the same, is it? Very no, it's similar. not the same. But my, if my, so here's the thing, Joe. If your blender pen has completely run out and dry, mm -hmm. and you put your blending solution in there, and you only use that for your colour blend pencils, you could do that, but it wouldn't work as a blender pen for your markers. No. If that makes sense. Yeah, makes total sense. Yeah, so it can't be used as a refill for the blender pen to use with your alcohol markers, but it could be used as an empty blender pen with the solution in, only with your colour blend pencils. Makes sense. So that would be the tooth under the same magnification on Nina card, because it's more smoothly milled to be allow your alcohol markers to, smooth, to smoothly move on the surface of the card. So because you don't have such big wells, you don't get the intensity of colour that you would get with your, with your stamping card with your Nina. Does that make sense makes to everybody? Makes total sense. I hope so, because I'm trying to make it very, very clear for you. Now, um, the reason I say use your pencil right at the tip of your jaw and use gentle pressure with your pencils is because if you push on hard, and I'm going to show you now, if you hold your pencil right at the bottom and do this, so you see I've got really intense dark blue colour there, and this beautiful intense pink colour there that's the result you want then put all that pressure on and do that but what's happened is immediately well all full up of pink nowhere else to right. go polished off if I try to put any other colour on the top of there and in fact I'll show you by going over with my blue if I had to put, try to put any other colour on there slides off the top I don't get any of the purple mixing happening because this is sealed now with my pink the well is full it's completely sealed with the polish, with the wax sealing the top for the colour. Nothing else can go in the well. It can't push anything out because it's got a sealed top. And all I get is the blue going over the top of the pink staying the same, no purple happening. Fair enough. Okay. Makes total sense. Okay. So that is colour blend very quickly how how they work and why these are fabulous in your stash uh, Sean's got a question uh, mm. do you have any tips for using these pencils on craft card Leanne oh I haven't got any have I got a piece of craft card I've here? got a piece over here if you want oh yeah piece. please if uh, you can one second. fling it at me Joe I've got a little oh I've got a bit got a here little Aladdin's cave down here here I've got, stock. I've got some you got some yeah Wonderful. I found it let's I'm going to stamp this butterfly now onto um Onto what's the word, Joe? What's that? What about the craft card? Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Um, I'm going to stamp this onto the craft card now as well, and we'll do both. And you can have a look, and you'll see the result between on the craft card and on the um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The regular. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Always, always here. Always oh, I'm, honestly, so helpful. Thank you. Um, right. So I've got my pink and my blue. And we're going to colour. This is on Nina. So let's, should we get one stamped on marker card as well? Well, we'll just do it on the Nina for now. Right, so I'm going to add my colour on now. This is why I like to use the blender. So you could, con you could with your butterflies, do this technique, uh, technique. So you can use your blue and your pink together and do that for your butterfly. Or um, you can do what I'm about to do here, which is cheat. So I'm using my pink down there. And then I'm using my blue here. And I'm just putting my pencil down. And then I'm going to use my blender pen, which is my now my pencil only blender pen. And then what I can do is emulsify these together. Um, and you can get that lovely soft blend that you would get with your blending solution, but you're doing it with your markers. So you're emulsifying the pencil in your little wells, as we looked at before. You're diluting it and you're mixing it together and getting that lovely soft look. So that's what will happen. You do the same with your solution at home if you've got it. What that looks like on your Nina card, 
and my top tip is use it exactly as you would any other colouring card and actually because um not Nina craft because craft card has a has a um a bigger tooth look how easy it is because it's got quite a rough surface for me to get really lovely vibrant colour on there very quickly because the wells are bigger so it takes the colour better from your um from your pencil so having card or paper with a rough texture definitely allows you to get more vibrancy from your colored pencils and you're just going to overlay the color exactly as i've done there if you want to blend it together you would use your blending solution your baby oil or your blending marker that i've got here from my classic and you would mix that all together when the blending solution evaporates that will become much more vibrant wonderful that blending solution by the way is available on amazon in the us i'm not sure if it's available in the uk the spectrum noir blending solution so if you do want to get there absolutely you can um Tony says, trust me, the cheap ones, pencils, we're talking about pencils, cheaper pencils uh, that Leanne was spoken about, uh, they don't, don't give you the same effect as these do. They really are, uh, as Leanne has been saying, artist quality, uh, these. Um, loads of you saying hello. Uh, lots of you still getting really, really excited about the later show. Don't get too excited about the later show today. It is Rose Gold Day here on Craft TV, but don't get too excited about it if you haven't got your order placed already. I will tell you that the uh, buy the whole, the mega bundle for the Rose Gold collection, which we're launching later, over half of that has gone. So, so incredibly busy. A smaller bundle has already sold out. Uh, so uh, I think we might get to that point where we get to the show later and we don't have any of the mega bundle left. So definitely get your orders placed uh, for that show. Then you can sit back, relax and watch the demonstrations uh, with myself and Sarah later. That'll be at 4 p.m. here in the UK. That will also be uh, at 11 a.m. if you are on uh, the East Coast. Right, I want to give you the heads up about uh, some great stuff that is on this show. Getting very, very busy now uh, as we move through the show. So here's the deal on the uh, colour blends that you've just seen that gets you absolutely everything. Now this is always the most popular configuration uh, when going for these pens. Uh, you've got your bold brights, your soft tints, uh, they are two 12 packs. You've also got your primaries, your naturals, your florals. Uh, you've got the essentials in there as well. And you've got your stamping card, as well as, of course, your stamp, your uh, ink pad, which is the pebble one, and the rocker blocks. Absolutely all of that uh, coming included for you. £74 you're saving uh, in the UK, and you're saving uh, over $100 there in the US, uh, which is a 41% uh, saving, which is fantastic. Very, very busy on that. Uh, the Classics, uh, very, very busy on the Classics. Uh, there's a smaller collection for you. This one here, great value. Uh, in here, you're going to get reds, yellows, greens, turquoises, browns, blues, pinks, purples, greys, dark skin, uh, shades and tones. And you're going to get, also, don't forget, the storage trays that you need for those. Everyone is saving their $39.85 or $74.40. Have a platinum members, you're saving £57 or $97. Uh, the value gets even better when you go for uh, the larger collection because when you're going for that larger collection, uh, you're getting even more uh, included as well. Uh, you can see you're gonna get five of our 12 packs there. These are extensions almost of um, the original color. It's gonna allow you to draw them out further, blend it even more effectively, get even more depth and dimension across the whole host of uh, different projects that you might want to uh, go for. Now, if you're going for that larger collection, uh, £179 pounds or $220, that means everyone is saving £135.76 uh, and £152.76. Uh, However, platinum members, you would actually save, well, platinum members, £143.20 is what you'd pay, or $176. That means you'd be saving $171.56 or $272. You're saving way more uh, than you are spending. If you're new to us, you're thinking, what is this? Please on about platinum members and Club Inspire. What, what on earth is he chatting about? Here's all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 
500 points takes you up to Silver Membership, where you'll get 10% discount plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a Gold Member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery courier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. Oh, the details there, of course, of Club Inspire. And you don't get your Club Inspire discount anywhere else. Oh, no, uh, only from us here at Crafters TV, which is why so many of you uh, choose to join us on a daily basis. And our um, our uh, audience, our viewership, just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, and when we bring you big launches, they just keep selling through faster and faster and faster. Just as an actually a little bit of a uh, point, actually, that we were making earlier in the week, Leanne. So like the rose gold for collections, for, for instance, that launches later today, when will you have placed the orders on that collection? You know, confirm the, oh. the units and the numbers. Oh, um, right. If it's launching today and it'll have been, it, it has to be in the warehouse for two weeks before and then 60, so five months ago. Five months ago. Okay. When we lived in a very different world. A very different <laughs> uh, world. And we had a lot less eyes on, uh, on everything that we bring you, which is why I know we just keep talking about, like we did a launch, didn't we, earlier this week with the, um, was it, what were they called? No, the... There's so, been so many launches, I can't remember what they were. The amazing decorative boxes that we did, we launched them. We had a launch stock we thought would last long enough and it sold out in the same day. Because there's so many more of you watching. There's so many more people crafting at the moment. Quite an exciting time for craft, don't you think, Leanne? With so many people getting into it for the first time, like so many people seeing us for the first time, or all things crafty for the first time. Mm, I think so. I mean, I just think, and also it's very mindful. I'm sorry, Joe, I'm just going down here to get what I need to stamp my little stamp here. Um, it's very mindful, isn't it? It's very relaxing. And if you've got a lot of time on your hands, doing something creative can really make you feel like you've achieved in the day. But actually, I'm sure, and again, well, we'll give it, you've got to give them disclaimers, Joe, but What's I'm it? sure there's medical evidence out there. Medical evidence? Uh, that... Do I need to give my T's and C's again? You probably will in a minute okay, when, I've, when right. you hear what I've got to say. Um, there's, I'm sure there's medical evidence out there. I'm sure I've read this somewhere official that um, it actually helps with delaying dementia. Wow. Um, do it so because you're you and, and Alzheimer's and all of those types of things because it's quite you know, it keeps the mind going. You're thinking. You're you're enjoying. You're experiencing different things i'm certain that i've read that doing crafty things like knitting crochet paper craft you know all of those things by just keeping yourself active um is really really good for the for the mind and not only yeah. that but it's good stress relief as well isn't it it's good oh for absolutely you know we can't losing yourself claims of course because we are i don't know if you realize that we're not doctors. So. No. <laughs> did you not know that? Is that, is that? Did you not know that? Oh, what a surprise. Uh, I reckon Leanne could be a doctor of craft. Oh. Uh, but I've got a friend that's a doctor. His name is, uh, he's actually a friend of a friend. I went out and I met him. And his name, I think his name's Doctor, his first name's Paul. So he calls himself Dr. Paul. And I thought he was like a GP or something. Turns out that he's a doctor of environmental waste. <laughs> <laughs> Because I didn't realise a doctor just means that you have a PhD. PhD. That's what it means. Yeah, anybody can be a doctor. Well, I'm saying anybody. You've got to have the brains to get a PhD in the first place. Um, I'd be a doctor. Uh, for someone I know, there is one already. But if I was a doctor, I, of course, would be a doctor of Eurovision. That would be my uh, oh. what I'd do a PhD in. Uh, there is actually someone called Dr. Eurovision who has done a PhD in Eurovision. It is a thing. It's a fact. No way. Yeah, absolutely. Did it. Imagine doing your PhD in Eurovision. 
There's not, that is not a transferable skill, newsflash. It really is <laughs> What isn't. would you see in? Um, so that's a good question. Should, should, should I be a doctor of alcohol colouring? A doctor of spectrum noir? Just say alcohol full stop, I reckon. <laughs> that would encompass gin, pens, <laughs> wine, all the good stuff. A doctor of spectrum noir, let's yeah. put it that way. Or, or um, a doctor of... Game of Thrones. I love Game of Thrones. Oh, I can't get into it. Do you know, know why I can't get into it? Because I'm too deaf for it. So, <laughs> what I've worked out is, honestly, this is a thing. So, TV that has a lot of bass in it, I can't really decipher what they're saying. And especially when they're, especially when what they're talking about is Schmorgans, Morgan, Margans, Morgans, Morgans, Morgansville in the third barrier on the left behind the milkman. You know, it's not like it's, you know, it's not like it's a logical sort of language that you can follow. So that combined with the bass means I can't hear what they're saying. And it's not really the sort of thing you can watch with the subtitles on because, again, they're just talking in this sort of, uh, they're talking in this strange, um, strange language. And they're talking in English. But there's a lot of, like, funny words in there, isn't there? Yes, so not regular English language, like, um, well... Like normal people talk, not us. King's Landing, <laughs> King's, the North. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. It just felt a bit... Um, is it just a bit confusing? Gibberish, yeah. Mm. I'll tell you what it is. I think there's a lot of fighting, and so there's a lot of growling. And so, therefore, there's a lot of background noise. So maybe it's just mm. the background noise that's distracting you from the I've even tried to... Words. I've got a, uh, I've got a um, thing on my TV that's the vocal clarity mode that I have yeah. on a lot of the time, uh, which takes the uh, death, the uh, takes the bass out of it, and uh, even then, I uh, still can't, still can't do Can it. Can you not? No. Uh, if you were one, what would you be a doctor of? That's what I want to know. Let us yeah. know in the comments. I am over on uh, Crafts TV Facebook page. Let me know what your you would be a doctor of. Um, uh, Robin's with me. She can't get into Game of Thrones. Uh, husband, husband, hubs had the same issues trying to hear it. At least it's not just me. I thought I was alone. It's fantastic. It's addictive. You need to be careful because once you start, and you get. I've got a couple of friends. My Louise, my good friend Louise. Mm. She was. She was an avid. I'm not watching Game of Thrones because everybody else is watching it. And I'm not getting on the bandwagon, so I'm not watching it. And I kept nagging her saying, you've got to watch it, you're going to love it. She was like, I'm not watching it. And so she thought, I'm just going to watch one of these, two of these, because then I can tell her it's rubbish and I knew I shouldn't have watched it. Um, and then and she messaged me one day and said, oh my word, since Friday, I'm on series four. She couldn't stop watching it. She, she went for it in big style because she loved it. Yeah. So, you know, if you persevere and you get to it and you get into it, um, it does it does grip you it does mm. my son and i peter and i we actually re-watched series seven one christmas when the weather was horrible we weren't going anywhere we put it on first thing in the morning and we watched all of series seven during the day right through lunch and dinner and everything just because we looked just, why not we just binged yeah, it yeah I, I just don't get it no <laughs> i just don't get it i don't I just get don't it don't get it there's a <laughs> gif of a gif of sarah on instagram saying exactly that i just don't get it uh, you, mm. need to, you need to uh, download that. It's very fun. She was filming some new, uh, some new Instagram bits uh, yesterday. So maybe they will. Uh, maybe will they. Oh, we need to shut the front door for Instagram is what we've been talking about. And uh, an Instagram, you know, uh, what are they called? Are they called stickers? Yeah, an Instagram sticker of that would be I fantastic. can't do that. What, Instagram? I can't, I can't find the stickers. I can't find the Yours stickers. Yours would joke. be, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, the stickers are in, I think they're in GIFs, aren't they? Is that where you find them? I know, yeah. but I've tried. I've got, a, I've got a story up and I've tried finding them. And I can't find them. And it frustrates the life out of me. And then I just throw my phone down on the couch in disgust. Mm. And um, Sally seems to looking. think, um, Leanne, that I'd be a doctor of fudge. I think that is pretty accurate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> loads of people uh, loving... Um, <laughs> Loving uh, Game of Thrones would be a uh, Sean. Now Sean's talking my kind of language as well. He'd be a doctor of musical theatre history. How fabulous is that? Oh wow, that's right up my Strasser. That is. What is your favourite musical, Sean? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I would be a doctor of doing the laundry, says Susan. <laughs> I'm sure you're not alone uh, in feeling like that laundry. Uh, laundry. <laughs> Oh dear. Can you tell that I've not had a lot of sleep the last few days? Hey. I don't know what is going on. It's been so hot in the UK that it's like, it's been like, what, 20 degrees overnight? I mean, some of you in the, like California are saying that's nothing. But I'm getting to that point where my words are getting a bit mixed up. So that is, uh, Susan, I'm sorry for calling you laundry, Susan. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> uh, Sarah says she'd probably need to be a doctor of spell check. 
<laughs> after the morning cheese had. That's funny. Um, uh, Joe, please ask Leanne, my pencils are Spectrum Noir, colorist Aqua. Uh, how do they compare to the color blend? Okay, completely different. Chalk and cheese. Okay, do So, Aqua, colorist pencils are the equivalent. If you watch back Sarah's masterclass on Aqua blend pencils, they'll work in the same way because they move with water. So, you color those down and you paint it out and you get watercolor effects. Colour blend pencils will not move with water because of the pigment and the wax in there. So you get a sealed resist. Water will just run off the top like oil on water. So your colourist uh, water pencils will work similar to Aqua Blend. <laughs> Sarah said, OMG, Joe, you know how I feel now. <laughs> Getting my words mixed up and uh, has spell check disasters. Oh, Carolyn would be a doctor of onology any ideas what that what is what that well, we need to when we need carolyn needs to tell us what that yeah, is yeah i think producer laura is gonna have to get on the yeah. old google for that yeah onology o-e-n ology oh uh <laughs> mm, there you go uh we're gonna google that and let you know uh june is watching us out in the car outside the doctors absolutely melting uh, June is uh, here with us in the UK. Uh, oh, Sandra says she doesn't like. Uh, it's a it's a what now? <gasps> How do we not know that? Oh, Shut the front door. Oh no! A study of wine onology. We are pretty much onologists already. Yeah. That's uh, what my mum is. Oh. Every day, all day, she's working on her onology. <laughs> Bless her. Um, I'm going to be a doctor of genology. Genology. Yeah, I've just made that up. I reckon you can. You can be I what you want. I, can. <laughs> I reckon I can too. Susan has said, that's okay, Joe. I'm all washed up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> not laundry. No, you're not. I'm sure that is not the case. Now, I'm laundry, you're not washed up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Brilliant. Now, um, I'm just colouring. What am I going to be like by the later show? What, what are we going to do? I don't know what we're going to do. I think we should just go home. I think we should <laughs> throw to VT. That's a technical term, isn't it? Yeah. I think we should all throw to VT and go and have a barbecue and a gin. Oh, it's going to pour down though this afternoon. It is. Yeah, it is. It's mm, going to be it's awful, gonna isn't it? Absolutely chuck it down. And then I'm going to go to Whitby tomorrow. It's going to be cold and wet and, and windy. <laughs> you want? You don't want to go to Whitby in the wind. I'm You're going, going to, to get blown away. Was it not nice wind, Whitby in the wind? It's, go, it's freezing cold. It's going to whip round your head. It's going to whip under your legs. Whip round your ears. It's going to blast in your face and blast in the back of your head. Oh, is it like a bit sticky out, eh? I, by that, what I mean, is it a bit exposed? <laughs> <laughs> it's very sticky out, Joe. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're looking on a map, does it stick out? Does it protrude into the sea slightly? It's one of those, it's one of those sticky out. It's one of those sticky out areas in the northeast coastline, Joe. Oh. There you go. They're the mm. worst. I'm in a sticky in area in the northeast, and it's windy enough there as it is, let alone being in a sticky out area. Your geography's worse than mine, and that's saying something. <laughs> <laughs> Sean has come back to say, my favourite musical, it's so difficult to answer, as I love many, but La Cage Foal holds a special place in my heart. Mine would probably be Gypsy, you know. Oh. I, I know it changes all the time, but I do really love that so show. So I've got a couple, Joe. Um... Oh, no, that's sorry. Can I change my mind already? Yeah, go I've on. just remembered. Go on. It was the colour purple, the musical at the Many a Chocolate oh. Factory. was my favourite ever one. Oh, I, I bet that is good. Oh, well, so if we're t are we talking musical theatre or musical movies? Musical, uh, musical theatre. Right, musical theatre for me is um, the Jersey Boys, number one. Yeah. Number two, Kinky Boots. Kinky Boots. I am, uh, controversially, I am not a, really a fan of jukebox musicals. Jukebox what's a, musicals. What's a are jukebox musical? Where you the take, Jersey Boys. Uh, where you, where you take the music. Where you take. Oh God, I, that, I tell you, I really am struggling, aren't I? Where you have uh, the music of an artist, mm -hmm. and then you uh, create a narrative for, to fit the songs in. So Jersey Boys. Oh. Um, the commitments. We take will rock that. You. Take that one. Never forget. Yeah, never forget. And then there was also um, Mamma Mia. Actually, is a good example of it. It was yeah. the original jukebox musical. It's quite a good one though, Mamma Mia. But yeah, generally, I'm more of a fan of original musicals. Oh, I yeah. know that makes me sound like a snob. I know, but it's just what I like. Oh, you see now. You see, I must be the opposite to you. I think I must like the jukebox musicals. Um, Oh, Sam McDonald, she lives in Preston. She's going to a Jersey Boys drive-in tonight <gasps> in Preston. <gasps> oh, that's wow. now that's up my straza, Joe. Right up your straza. It is up my straza. I would love that. 
<laughs> uh, Lay Miz uh, says Margaret. No. Uh, oh my word! I've n I never wanted to. Oh. Sean Sterling also says he saw the colour purple on Broadway with Cynthia Erivo and it was stunning. That's exactly the same one that I saw in London a couple of years earlier. I, sh I feel like me and Sean would get on. Whereabouts in the US do you live, Sean? We could, uh, you know, Who got meet up for a glass of Sauvignon Blanc and, you know, discuss theatre at length. I think it'd be quite fabulous. Um, it could be a stop off on the cruise. Woo! Oh, is that a thing, Joe? Is it no, happening? No, oh. no, it's not. It's not a thing. Apparently, I'm trying to make it a thing. It needs to be a thing, Joe. It needs to be. A th Can you imagine? <gasps> be amazing. It would be amazing. It would be it? amazing. Yeah, we would. Uh, Robin says she loves the musical movie Burlesque. I tell you, that is a very good uh, musical. Oh. Anything that's got share in it. Uh, I'm there. Is I really Sharon am. Burlesque? Uh, she is Burlesque. Oh, is she in it? She is it. I haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, the songs are amazing. Are they? I'm going to have to watch Burlesque that. Burlesque great, yeah. Uh, Jan... I, I seen, I'm sorry, Joe. I seen a picture of Cher and her mother on on Facebook the other week. Did you see it, Joe? No. Her mum is 94. Cher's she, mum? Yes. She And she was standing beside Cher, who's 70 whatever. And a mum looks younger than Cher. What? It's in the genes. It it's is in, in the, the genes. genes. I've always said that. It's definitely in the genes. Um, Janko agrees with me. Doesn't not really into jukebox musical. I wouldn't say I don't like them. Just say I prefer the original ones. Uh, and Sam says it needs to be a cruise. Sam McDonald. She lives in Darlington. She's going to drive over to Preston. You could probably catch a lift with her. You know, if you wanted to go. And well, see when you said Sam, days. I wondered whether if it was the, it was the, our Sam. And when I say our Sam, that's our avid Crafters companion fan. It lives is. in the store. Comes to see us. Comes to Craftaganza, and we adore Sam McDonald. Oh, so it is obviously. It obviously is. Uh, Lee, uh, Sean lives in Scotland, so maybe it could be maybe it could be a transatlantic uh, crossing uh, from. I don't know, where should we go from maybe New York? We could do a musical on, in Broadway and then we could do a transatlantic crossing. Good thing about a transatlantic crossing, you see, Leanne, five days at sea, a lot of time to get lots of crafting done. Yeah. I, I think the crafters' cruise needs to be a thing, Joe. Mm. I yeah. think it needs to be, yeah. I'm uh, and, for that. Anne says she loves the, the Man of La Mancha as one of her favourites, which is a good one. Some good songs in uh, La Man of La Mancha, uh, Leanne. Uh, Dream the Impossible Dream, which is a great song, isn't it? And also, uh, the Man of La Mancha's in there as well. I don't think I've seen that one either. Dum, 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 bum, bum. Oh, um, it's difficult to recommend musicals. I made the mistake of sending Leanne Craig's chivers to see Miss Saigon, oh, says Margaret. Margaret Brown. <laughs> Margaret Brown, Auntie Margaret Brown oh. there, honestly, sent me to see Miss Saigon, told me about how much her and Roger loved Miss Saigon and how many times her and Roger have been to see Miss Saigon. I love Miss Saigon as Sent well. Sent me with my very big BFF Louise, who I aforementioned my Louise. Oh my word, we were disgusted. <laughs> I felt like if I had a handbag right then, Joe, I would have gone like that. <gasps> Honestly, I would have had a Les Dawson moment. I just thought there was just rudeness unnecessary. I didn't notice it, to be honest. I Did mean, you know? A lot about you weren't us, looking at the it? same part of the stage I was looking at, Joe. <laughs> How close Brown. were you sitting? Sorry? How close were you sitting? Um, close, yes, because my <laughs> Louise won't go in the gods or in the back seats. She needs to be at the front <laughs> <laughs> so she can see everything. We were quite close. And then we were going to leave. I, I don't know if I've ever told you this story. We were going to leave, right? And then we're both looking at each other and going, Auntie Margaret wouldn't have told us to come if it was, if it was this, but it's going to get better. Um, cause Auntie Margaret, if Auntie Margaret likes it, we like it. And so we're going to stay. And then, and then we had a conversation, it wasn't getting any better. And then we were like, well, look, Auntie Margaret said the helicopter scene is fantastic. So, and like the know how they do the helicopter? Well, yes. They just lower a cardboard cut out out of the sky, put a ladder behind it, put some noise on with a flash lamp at the back of the stage, and people just get in one end, out one end, and go around in circles. Yeah, it's a piece of, it's a tennis ball on a piece of string swinging around that makes it look like a rudder, a propeller, apparently. Is that what that is? Well, yeah. it wasn't It wasn't impressive. And so there we waited till the <laughs> helicopter scene at the end. Oh, you're such a grumpy woman sometimes. Honestly, I love we it. Waited till the, <laughs> we waited till the end, and then we both, and then we both did this. So we waited till the end, helicopter scene finished, where we sat like that going, is that it? And then it's finished, everybody's going, yay, shaking hands, curtains, the lot. And me and Louise looked at it and went. Yeah, I felt like that about um, hair. Did you? 
hair. hair. Not yeah. hairspray. No, not hairspray. Hair is the 1970s uh, one. Uh, it's got the uh, Age of Aquarius is one of the songs in it. It's oh, got I love some that great song. songs in it. Yeah, yeah. good. It good. really has. Right, Malia is trying to get us back on track because the train has well and truly left the station, uh, Leanne. Okay. She says, what colours are you using right now for those flowers, please, Leanne? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Malia. Malia, Always you will do for us. You've got the focus <laughs> back in the room. Actually, Malia, it's a, I'm so pleased you've asked. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I've used two entirely different colours from two entirely different colour families to show you how they can blend together. So actually, I've used CR3 and PV1. So I've got a lovely coral and a violet. And because they are the same intensity of colour, I've been able to blend them together and get a lovely transition between the two. Doesn't that look lovely? So your classics will beautiful. do that too. Thank you for reminding us about that, Malia. That's fabulous. Um, Robin says she still loves The King and I. Me too. Uh, Sarah Brown says Les Mis is another one. OMG, get the tissues. Love Les Mis. It's very, very long uh, for anyone that's seen. You know, they cut it down when it moved and it's moved again recently and they've cut it down again. So it is a lot shorter than it used to be. But yeah, it's definitely a bit of a numb bum uh, one, uh, Les Mis. I went to see it and it broke down three times as well. So what was a... Three and a half music, three and a half hour evening turned into a four and a quarter hour evening. It's quite a long one. I'd have lost uh, the I love it. So basically on the stage at Les Mis, there's a revolve. So the middle of the stage is circular and it turns around, but that bit kept breaking. I think they've got rid of it now and taken it out. Um, Robin says, just saw that Hamilton is going to be on Amazon Prime, I think. Uh, it's actually going to be on Disney Plus in the UK in the next few weeks. Uh, and it is, if anyone has not seen Hamilton, oh my word, it is amazing. Uh, and it's the hip hop uh, rap musical. And I was thinking, oh, I thought I can't. That's not going to be my bag at all, Hamilton. Uh, but it was absolutely uh, amazing. Uh, right. Uh, loads of you going for uh, our classics, uh, getting very, very busy uh, on those. Are you right there for a minute? Are you, getting yeah. your, I, are you in a colouring coma? Have I lost you? I'm in a colouring coma right over here. I'm happy to continue if you'd like me to or do something else if you'd like me to. Well, I mean, you, I think you crack on there All for right, a minute. I'll, on, I'll just run through, if I may, yeah. uh, exactly what you're getting in the big collection because it is... Uh, the big collection is far and away uh, the busiest one for you. So in the biggest collection, you're going to get everything that's in the smaller collection as well. So the 66-piece collection is this one just here. So what we've got is, you've got in here your reds, you've got your yellows, your greens, uh, your turquoises, you've got your browns, your blues, your purples in there as well. You've then got pinks, greys, dark skin and shades. Six markers in each of those, which is fantastic. And you've got uh, the storage trays that go with all of those. That is the smaller collection right there, £90 or $115. Now, Everyone, though, is going for the larger collection. When you go for the larger collection, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get all of these included as well. You're going to get five of our 12-piece collections. Those collections are pastel jewel, vintage floral, and you're also going to get the nature as well. Uh, and it is a really such a massively comprehensive set uh, that you've got here. Uh, Value-wise, if you're going for these, everyone, no matter whether you have any um, uh, Club Inspired discount or not, will save £135.76 and £152.76 if you're in the US, which is great value. Platinum members, uh, you'd pay $143.20 or $176. That means you'd save £171 or $272. It is incredible. It really is the deal that everyone waits for because you're getting absolutely a load. Don't forget, of course, you're going to get all the storage that you need uh, to pop them into. You're going to get some rocker blocks in here and you're also going to get some ink pads too. So really comprehensive, uh, a great starting point uh, in your alcohol colouring journey. Uh, also very busy, as they always are, are the Annabelle Spensley uh, stamps that we've got for you on the show today. Uh, you can see here six different stamp sets there and you've got uh, your rocker blocks there too, which is fantastic. Make sure you grab those. $29.99 in the UK, $41.94 if you are in the US. Uh, we've got the floral words. These are the ones that you just saw uh, Leanne colouring with a moment ago. $29.94 or $41.94 if you want to go for those. Hey, getting on over there, Leanne? I'm finished. So I did a little bit with my friend, which you can see there, and I did the roses in two different colours. And I'm just using the three colour blends that come in that lovely set that you've got. Either set will do, but the set with the 64 markers in with your six sets. Um, I just used three from the cool blend of pink, and here I used three 
from the cool, uh, cool blend of the coral. So you get those pens and you can do that. See, it was very, very easy to do. And then this one is the one where I used the violet and the coral together to get that lovely ombre between the two and it makes a lovely pastel beautiful floral and again i've just used two or three colors of the green there to get some dimension on the leaves and this was stamped to get that lovely solid black stamp was stamped with our finesse alcohol proof ink pad which you need if you're um working with your alcohol markers that's the ink pad for you okay Right, let's have a. Do you want to have a look at some little samples of these, Josie? Oh, yes, see what please. they're like when they're made up into a card. Because we have got some beautiful ones here. Um, oh, hang on. That be, oh, no, that's the right ones. The sample's gone back in the wrong place. Do you know, there's so many different ways you can use them as well, which is what I love. And just picking several up here, honestly, you'll see not two of them look the same. And they work with all of your different techniques that you've got as well. I've got a couple more in here that I really loved too, which I'm probably going to which I'm going to nab. I'll get that in a second. Right, so here we go. These are the ones that I wanted to show you. So you can see you can use, as I've just done there with the Enjoy, keep it simple with your alcohol colouring and just colour that in. Here we've done a little bit more alcohol colouring, but just done it on a, mounted it onto a larger card. This one, lovely, kept very monotone. But look, can you see the flash? That's been used with our pigment ink pads and heat embossed with a clear heat embossing powder. This is used some of our Harmon and Water Reactive in the background, not worried about colouring the florals. Just stamped it and done that lovely colour and four bleaching. This, is full. look at the grunge on there. That's got loads of background stamping in it. It's gorgeous. And I think shows how you can use these. And look at, oh, look at that one. It's one of my very favourites with those lovely alcohol coloured rows there. And then fabulous on the congrats. Really, whether you like it to be pastel and um, just subtle or whether you want to go full on colour you can do your shaker cards with it if you want to this one lovely simple just heat embossed in white embossing powder with loads of lovely layering and pretty papers behind looks gorgeous use it with all of our gorgeous edgeables as a sentiment panel at the top you can see it works really well with them and then this is great just wrapped as always a parcel with some heat embossing with the gold in there for mum so oh actually that's our metallic ink pad in fact it's not it's our uh, my just metallic ink pad that we've got on there looks gorgeous oh yeah it really does look very very beautiful uh, something else i must share with you because it is very busy uh, is the technique kit uh, that we've got for you on the show today uh, you've got three different stamp sets three of our rubber stamp sets in here so you've got butterfly meadow which is this one just here uh, you've also got uh, the amour you have a french floral as well our rubber um stamp set so incredibly popular you get such an amazing uh, amount of detail with them which is fantastic uh what we've also got as well is uh this one just here you're going to get these uh, beautiful butterfly dream stamp and dies in there as well a quarter of the stock here uh, has already sold out and gone uh, a lot of you uh commenting along um Sarah Brown's having a right spell check nightmare again. Uh, she she meant to say she cried when Mary Poppins flew into the audience, but uh, it came out of something completely wholly different that I should not repeat uh, for everyone's sake. Uh, but lots of you talking about, oh, Robin says, how could I forget The Greatest Showman? I was so obsessed with The Greatest Showman that it came out for about a year and a half. I even went to like immersive Greatest Showman dining experiences. I mean, I you know how I like to get obsessed about things when I, I'm either doing it or I'm not doing it. You know how it is. And uh, yeah, Greatest Showman was one of those that I went I went pretty hard for. Uh, but yeah, loads of you saying, oh, we've got uh, even Ruth's uh, joining us from New Zealand, uh, which is fantastic. So good. What, where would we be in New Zealand? Let me just say, probably, yeah, evening. Definitely, probably very late, actually. Uh, right, getting very, very busy. Uh, lots of you uh, with the classics in your basket at the moment. Now would be a great time uh, to check out. If you want to watch the shop at the same time, it's really easy to do that with us here at Crafters TV. Here's all the details. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV, and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers, and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions, and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. 
We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Oh, all the details there, of course, of how you can watch the shop uh, at the same time. Very, very busy uh, for those classics. Details are there, again, on your screen. £179, $220. Of course, you're going to be able to use your Club Inspire discount with that as well. Right, uh, we've only got about 30 minutes or so left on this show. Don't forget there's a craft fault coming up as well at the end of this show, so make sure... Uh, you stay tuned for that one. Uh, very, very busy uh, on Classic Markers uh, now. Um, I'm going to hand you back to Leanne. What do you fancy showing us next, Leanne? We're having a look at my favourite stamp from 2019, I think it was, uh, when we launched it. And it is this amazing large background set, which is just absolutely exquisite. It's called Oriental Peony. So you've got this huge 8x8 eight eight oriental peony background stamp and then you've got a beautiful peony here and all of the accents that you need to use with it. It really is glorious, Joe. I adore it. Um, so where I'm going to, I've just stamped the single peony and I'm going to stamp the leaves to go with. Um, and then I'm going to show you some examples with the big background. So if I did the big background now, it, we would need two hours for me to show you how that works. Um, and we haven't got that time. So I thought, let's colour in the statement peony and then I'll show you some examples of the background. Um, and I love to have a big background stamp to colour in. It really does just give... Um, a d oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely how you can get that oh, le beautiful. leaf just absolutely gloriously matched in there? Beautiful. And I love the fact that you've got all of those different pieces because you can make your own arrangement. I could fit another one up here. Should I do that? Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. Look, I'm doing it, Joe. <gasps> this is why rogue? I'm going rogue, Joe. I'm doing another little leaf up here. And brilliant that you've got all of these little pieces. So you can fill in the piece of card that you've got or you can make your own stamped arrangement by lining them up and then um, popping it where you want it to be. So I'm going to pop that there. And it doesn't have to, all these pieces don't have to be stamped on to the white card. It can come off the end, which you'll see here with that. So you see now that travels across the centre of my card, which looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? I've just lost my baby wipe. Here it is. Just to clean my baby wipe. Just to clean my block and my, my mat. Because, you know, I don't like mess. You know what I'm like. Um, <laughs> there we go. Cleaning as we go. Right, so I've got that ready and I've got my piece of spare card. Fabulous that you get the pieces and you can make a real statement across the centre of a panel to mat and layer. Um, just so useful, really it is. And then let me just mention this while I'm on. With your big background piece, you can, you can just stamp six by six on that and make a lovely piece of background paper and I'll show you some examples of that in a sec. Now what colour should we colour the rose Joe? Should we do it, do you want to do a red rose, a yellow rose? We, what do you want to do? do what colours are they coming roses? All the colours. Could it be like a soft blush pink one? A soft blush pink rose. I can I can do a soft blush pink rose with a little bit of coral in maybe. Oh yeah. Yeah, a little bit of colour, a little bit of colour. Let's oh so here we've got PP one, we've got blossom. Oh she, she hasn't been used. Let's open her up. Um why have I called my pen her? <laughs> Stop gendering pens. I know, it was why do I do binary cats last week? I know, it's ridiculous. Um here we go. Get yourself open. Great. Oh, come on, we might have to have a different colour. Here it is. Do you know what it is? My nails won't get underneath the thing. It's per there it is. It's perforated all the way down to make it easy. Only my nail won't get under the perforation. So I'm going the non-easy way. Anyway. Uh, Kathy just got the peony set in uh, her US, uh, uh, US warehouse goodies. So she's definitely going to be using that, which is fantastic. Uh, Kerry's got the stamp set as well. It's beautiful. Uh, the ink pad stamps amazingly, uh, says Laurie. Um... Robin says, I used to get first frustrated with stamping, blurry and smudgy, until I found Spectrum Noir. Crisp, clear lines, uh, saturated, no skipping, will not change, is what uh, Robin oh. says. Couldn't have said it better myself. That's wonderful to hear, you know, because um, it's everything that we hoped for when we design a range like this, to have 
that reliability where you don't get the blurring you do have the beautiful colors you get perfect saturation you don't get any bleeding and fuzzing um, just to make the experience for you wonderful at home and to hear that that's the experience you're having is just fantastic so i'm using three of the pink colors here just three of the soft pinks that we've got and i think these are in the create set that you've got there joe and i put the lightest color down first saturated that petal then i've gone with my darkest color so this is the traditional way i would always teach people to color then you go with your mid-tone and you bring the darkest out into the first layer of the light and you see how that's blending that out lovely you can see it's beautiful there so you bring that out and then what you do is in, in leaving this white area here is what's called preserving your highlight jaw and that's just keeping an area white so that when you come back with your lightest color later and you go into uh into that and fill it in it stays nice and light because it hasn't had lots of color built built over the top of it so you can see we've got that beautiful curved dimension on that petal and that lovely soft pinky blush that you all asked for from the dark through to the medium into the light and then if you want to intensify that in any area you can just go back so here's me back with a little bit of my dark again so you can layer it up so i'm just bringing it out a little bit further because i think it'll make more of an impact and then i'm going with my middle color and i'm just blending and you see i blend in small circular motions up to the line but i don't go right back over the whole area i don't go right back over here remember i said light colors bleach out dark colors so you don't go all the way back over you just go up to the line and blend that out and then with my lightest color the medium color will be up to the line and out through that preserved highlight and i get that lovely dimension on my I just can't rose believe petal. This is a 2d piece of paper it just looks so dimensional isn't it it really is incredible uh, how you can um you know get these techniques to work for you if anyone obviously you've got uh, this color me happy show two hours of inspiration here we did another color me happy on classics as well but i'm right in thinking there's also a lot of um tutorials and uh, inspiration on our website and our youtube channels as well uh, leanne there absolutely is and not only that there's a full dvd um of me teaching you all of the classic techniques from the very beginning is if you've never picked up colouring before and using your markers through the very basics all the way to more involved techniques. So if you are wanting to get on the alcohol colouring bandwagon and you're a bit nervous and you don't think these shows that we do for you are enough, then just grab that DVD um, and you can sit and watch that at your leisure. You can fast forward me, pause me, mute me, whatever you want to do. But I do take your hand as if you've never picked mute up an alcohol. You, did you say? Mute me. Oh, who would do that? So, I know it's my husband, <laughs> uh, regular. Um, but it means that you can follow along at your pace and you can do it in little snapshots, little pieces. And you'll be able to build up the kind of beautiful dimension that we've got here with these pinks, which you can see getting that lovely blush pink on the rose and I teach you where to put the dark where to put the light um, how to get the beautiful smooth blends all gone through on the DVD if, if that's what you're interested in anyone that um, owned tri blends really and was looking at you know maybe has owned the tri blends for a while has got on really well with them uh, but was looking at these would these be a great sort of trade up from tri blends do you think or, or could you even use these in addition to your tri blends Leanne you can use them alongside your tri-blends hand in hand because they sent the ink inside the pen and the colours exactly the same. Right. Um, but what, hap what happens with tri-blend is you get three colours in one pen. So you get slightly less ink um, because you've got to fit three pens in one marker. So what you're going to be able to do with your classiques is for your favourite colours, um, just have a pen which has more of the ink in. So it gives you a little bit more colouring. And then tri blends become your portable best friend for when you're travelling. And your classiques, as mine do, sit on my desktop um, at home, sit on my craft desk. And that's what I craft with when I craft at home. My tri blends come with me when I'm on the move, when I'm travelling. So um, if you've got tri blend and you want to step up and just get a, a wider range of colours, because there are more colours in classique than there are in tri blend. Um, then you will get a wider range of colours, but the colours all follow in the same family. So you'll be able to follow on with the colours that are already in your tri-blend marker and just extend the amount of blend between them um, for when you're using them at home. 
Fantastic. Uh, lots of questions still coming in, which is fantastic. Jan says, uh, do you know when you might feature the Aqua Blend pencils uh, again? I don't actually currently. I don't think it will be long though. I and mean, it's been quite a while uh, since we did them last time. Uh, do the numbers on these match up with the double-ended SN markers? Asks Rosalind, uh, Leanne. Yes, they do. Fantastic. Absolutely. The, the colouring system, the number system is exactly the same. So you will be able to... Um match up which ones go together no problem at all and they're the same on illustrator and they're the same on tri-blend so that when you're using all of the different pens together um, because they do complement each other then you're able to um, see which pens are working together from tri-blend illustrator and classic Fantastic. Uh, very, very busy on the classics. Always is the case when we come to the end of the hours uh, with these uh, Colour Me Happy shows. Uh, remember as well, you can watch all of our previous Colour Me Happies back if you've loved this one. Uh, they all live indefinitely over on uh, the Crafters TV uh, section of our website, craftscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. Uh, and then pop yourself along to Crafters TV. You can watch absolutely everything back there. Uh, it's a really exciting Friday today. It's definitely uh, so much more to come. Uh, we are launching. It feels like this is the first, um, I guess, because like the way that the world has been, Leanne. Do you know this is the first Syrah Signature launch since I started? No way. Yeah, I started at the end of January. Oh, my word. Yes. Oh, we've wow. Been I a hadn't long, even realised It's been that. a long time coming. Yeah. Uh, we are launching it. It's launched today. It's available right now over on the website. Uh, with the smaller bundle is already sold out. Uh, also, I'd say that the, I should let you know that uh, the uh, the sort of buy the show mega bundle, uh, over half of that has already gone as well. It's very, very busy. A lot of the individuals are sold out. Uh, you really need to make sure you've got your orders in and then come back and watch that show later. Um, also as well, I wanted to let you know that Craig will be back with us next week, which is really exciting. And he's been at home shielding uh, for the last 12 weeks or so. He's finally allowed out of the house, which is fantastic. So he's going to be joining me here in the studio on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. Talk about a baptism of fire, eh, Leanne, for our Absolutely. Craig. Absolutely. I hope he's uh, got his stamina up. I'm sure he is ready. He's been posting a lot uh, over on Instagram uh, talking about uh, how excited he is. Um, are these uh, pens refillable? And also, are the nibs replaceable? Is something that we're hearing a lot, uh, Leanne. Yes and yes. Wonderful. Yes, they so are really, refillable. You're never really going to have to replace these, surely, are you? You can fill them up if, for some reason, why would you need to replace a nib? You might use it over your colour blend pencils by accident. Right. And then it might start to... And then it would be clogged up. Right. Or you might do something else. You know, if you're doing mixed media techniques um, and you use it over some other mediums and the nib gets blocked up with some other medium and then the ink start, stops flowing, you would want another, another nib in there. Or um, those of us who've got small people in the house, if you're not looking and a small person gets your pens and does things to it which ruin the nib, means you don't have to buy a whole new set of pens you just need to replace the nib. Wonderful. Uh, so they've got great longevity. And they're going to, I mean, they're going to last you a really long. If you look after these, they're going to last you years, aren't they? No, oh, absolutely. If you're refilling them, 100%. Once you've, well, you know, really, you can be as bold as to say, Joan, it wouldn't be over-egging the pudding, that once you've bought these, you don't have to buy them again. Mm. Because you literally do, all of the parts that will um, receive wear and tear uh, are replaceable. So the ink, if it runs out, refillable. The nibs, if something happens to them, which you weren't planning and it doesn't work anymore, replaceable. So you never need to buy the marker again if you don't want to. Absolutely. Uh, it really, really is great. And of course, uh, there's such a really nice, vast, comprehensive uh, range of colours uh, within here as well. And you can do loads. A lot of people ask if they can, with that, about more about the DVD, uh, is it available to purchase? Is it on the website, Leanne? should be, know? yes. It should be on the mm. website, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Make sure you pop across there and uh, have a look for that over on the website. That peony is gorgeous. Is it a peony or a rose? Peony. It is a peony. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I bought some lovely sunflowers last night, Leanne. You want Those sunflowers behind you, actually, uh, our producer Laura thought they were fake. They're so gorgeous. They're real, you know. Are they real? Yeah. I thought they were fake. I love them because they last what for ages, that? don't they? They're real. I didn't know that yeah. at all. I, th I honestly did think they were fake too. They are beautiful. I do love a nice sunflower. Do you know what I love about... You know, when I, I seen sunflowers in the Loire Valley, 
um, when I was there with Peter and Simon and we were on a camping trip and we went out for a drive one day, went through all of the fields in the Loire Valley. We were going to a chateau for the day and um, I hadn't realised but the sunflowers turn to face the sun. Oh yeah. The whole field of sunflowers turn. All face the same way. Turn the same way so they're all facing in the same direction to face the sun. How amazing is that? And as the sun tracks through the sky during the day, the sunflowers turn and follow the sun. Yeah, it's yeah, amazing, I isn't it? I hadn't realised that. It's amazing to see. It was fantastic. Yeah, it's quite magical, really, when you yeah, think about it. Yeah, it is magical. I've got a do you think my little turn round? They're in the window. Yeah. They're, they're in the window <laughs> they facing will. in. <laughs> yeah, they probably will. I bet when you go home, I bet they've turned round to the sun. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, that really uh, is looking gorgeous. Shall Thank I just, um, do you, shall I fancy, shall I just let you keep going with that? I yeah. feel like I've lost you to that now. I think like yeah. you're going to have to finish that. Yeah. Uh, now you started it. What I'll do is I'm just going to recap uh, a few bits that you've seen in the show today. It's very, very busy. Uh, the classic collection, the largest collection is right there, right now on your screen. As you can see, 126 pieces uh, coming your way uh, for £179 or $220. That is by far and away the best value when it comes to the classic deals uh, that we bring to you. I'll come back to that and recap that fully uh, in a moment for you. Uh, also, remember, you've got the Colour Blend pencils on the show. This is the uh, collection with all the accessories that you'd need to. So you've got your stamps in there, your rocker blocks, your stamping card. You've also got your Colour Blend pencils in there too, which is brilliant. All of that for £110 or $150. Everyone would get free shipping and handling and free P&P on that. Uh, you've also got the Technique kit here. Uh, as you can see, £25 or £30. $35 to get that one. A uh, quarter of the stock's gone here. Three, uh, so two rubber stamp sets here. And also you've got some acrylic stamps in there. And also uh, you've got uh, that stamp and die collection in there. We've got the floral words available for you in the show. These proving very, very busy. $29.94 here or $41.94. A 25% uh, saving on those, which is fantastic. Uh, definitely grab those. Lots that you can do with those. Very usable if you're using them as toppers, as box frames, doing these like postcards. You can uh, heat emboss with them too. Uh, we've got the Annabelle Spenceleys available for you. Uh, this is a six piece collection, as you can see here. You've got the rocker blocks there too. Uh, $29.99 or $41.99. 94 if you want to get those uh, right I want to come back and take you through um, these classic marker collections just one last time because it is getting very very busy uh, as we come towards the show now the big one I'm going to go with the big one because pretty much everyone is going for the large collection so what you're going to get in here is you've got your reds your yellows your greens you've got turquoises you've got the browns in here uh, purples pinks uh, you've got your uh, greys there You've also got dark skin and your shade and tones as well. Basically everything uh, you can see there, it really is absolutely fantastic. That's your colours. Then you've also got kind of like your expansions. These are adding more tones to each one of those colours. New colours, of course, that are going to blend beautifully with these ones here. That allows you to add more depth, more dimension, gives you that more 3D uh, feel and effect to all of your different projects. All of them together are coming included. You're going to get three sets of our storage trays too. So you're going to be able to store these all beautifully uh, at home in your craft room. You're going to get the three ink pads and you're getting uh, the rocker blocks there as well, which is brilliant value for money. Now, everyone, whether you're a club member or not, saves £135.76 or $152.76 with these. However, uh, Platinum members, uh, and of course you'll all be somewhere between uh, uh, in the scale there in Club Inspire. Platinum members save £143. A pay, uh, you're paying £143. Because I'm getting confused because the paying number is lower than the saving number, which very rarely happens. Platinum pays uh, £143.20 or $176. That's saving you £171 in uh, the UK. You're saving £30 more than you're spending. Uh, in the US, you'd save $200. $72, you're saving $100 more than you're spending. It is incredible value for money, uh, whichever way you look at this. Uh, Leanne, how are you getting on over there? I'm finished. I'm you're finished. finished, yes. And, and you know, it's not often I get to colour you a full image uh, live, is it? So it's you can beautiful. see there, I'm going to fold it down so you can see it. There we are. You can see how lovely that starts to come together. Really, it does. Just beautiful um, shade and dimension. Very easy. Just pick three markers. I did the same with the three. You can stamp that across the middle, and that just goes into uh, onto a card front if you want with a couple of little sentiments. Very easy to do. You'll get that beautiful printed soft diffuse look, Joe, and you won't regret it because you've got all of the amazing colours to go with. Mm, absolutely. 
really, really is gorgeous. If you've been thinking about the classics, if you want to get them today, is a day. Leah, and when are we back together again? Do you know? Uh, not till next Friday now, Joe. Ooh. Yeah, um, uh, because, well, Craig's hogging all the hours next week, isn't he? Oh, yeah, absolutely he is. Uh, so and you've I've got visitors. So I've been out. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so Craig, it will be here. It was lovely to spend uh, this, the morning with you, uh, Leanne. Uh, and we'll see you back here again next Friday for more colouring, which will be amazing. Right, you know what it's time for now, don't you? <gasps> it's the time for the craft fault. Oh yes, absolutely. Time for the craft vault. Uh, the craft vault, of course, is where you'll find lots of the best deals uh, here on Crafters TV. It's basically me rummaging around the website. Uh, no, not around the website. <laughs> Today's going to be, today's a sent to try me today, you know. I feel like, oh, as a presenter, you should probably be able to nail the language, get your words in the right way. Uh, right, uh, it's where you'll find a lot of the best deals. It's me rummaging around the warehouse to get you fantastic products. Oh, Leanne's been doing a little bit of last minute uh, prep for me. Oh, thank you so much, Leanne. Uh, she stole my embossing fold. That's what she's done, having a bit of a craft with it. Uh, right, I want to start firstly with the birds of love. This is fantastic, £4.99 or... Hang on, we made a mistake here. Three pound ninety-seven in the US. <gasps> Four ninety-nine in the UK. No wonder half the stock's already gone. You're, the dollar price, the dollar price here is lower than the UK price. That is not a mistake. It is correct. We're just giving you an extra bit more as well if you are in the US. So three ninety-nine. Uh, 3 97 or 4 99 uh, it's a layering stamp too so you're going to be able to layer it up which is fantastic uh, as well so you can then you've got these are all numbered too to allow you to get a really lovely uh, finish and effect that's that one right Grand Shell is the next one. This is from uh, Sarah's Nautical collection, which is a very, very busy uh, signature collection. Remember, another signature collection launching tonight. This is the kind of thing you're going to be able to achieve with that. Again, it's half price for you. So it's very, it reminds me of the Little Mermaid. It's very under the sea, isn't it? 3 99 uh, or 5 47 if you want to get that one. Right, the alphabet. Now, alphabets are great. Always so fantastic because it means personalization. Personalization adds pennies, let's face it, which is fantastic. Uh, so here you've got all of your letters. You've got all of your numbers. Uh, you've also got the ordinals in there as well. You've actually got 75 stamps here total for £2.49 or $3.49. That is fantastic uh, value for money there. Make sure you grab that one. Right, next, uh, these are fantastic. Now, these are our uh, stamps and dies which are great these are our pointed petals um these are fantastic for adorning a whole load of different things they make wonderful corsages uh, they are brilliant for all the tops of boxes uh, you can pop them on cards uh, you can heat emboss these uh at the element different elements and have like a um create like your own like resin flowers if you want to a third of the stock's gone here 4.99 or 6.47 uh, if you want to get those ones up next shoes uh, we've got a wonderful chloe 3d embossing folder for you uh, create cards for all occasions using the handbag and the shoes 3d embossing folder look at what it creates for you i mean it is gorgeous fussy cut around that maybe even decoupage some of the elements up here would be a great way of doing it a third of the stock here has gone three pound 49 or 4.97 uh, those ones just there Right, oh, three, yes, that's the one that um, Leanne stole from me. That's why I've missed it. Uh, what we've got here is your 3D embossing folder, uh, warm blanket. No one wants a warm blanket today, let's face it, do we? Can you imagine anything oh, worse? The hilarious thing is, you know, like there's people over there, uh, everyone's sweating over at HQ at the moment. It was only about a week and a half ago, people had hot water bottles at their desks. It was so, so cold. Uh, now we are all sweating. Uh, warm blanket. Is what you got? Seriously, that price is that is that for real? One pound ninety nine. This is a kind of effect that it gives. It would be wonderful in some mirror board. Uh, it's great if you've inked it up. It really is uh, fantastic. That one, uh, one pound ninety nine or three dollars ninety seven. Uh, our our um, big statement stamps are always so popular. We bring them to you because it's almost like an eight by eight uh, stamp that you've got here that creates this wonderful background there, as you can see. And it is our uh, distressed harlequin that we've got here. So you 
can see, not only have you got that lovely big stamp, you've also got all of your different embellishing elements in there to allow you to create something beautiful there too. Right, rounded petal is next, uh, and it is our, uh, oh, I've done the wrong way round. What am I like? This is pointed petal. So what I was talking about earlier was pointed petal. They're both on, they're both at the same price. This one is a rounded petal. So everything I said earlier was about that one. Everything I'm about to say now is about this one. Uh, you can use them the same way. They're exactly the same concept. They'll all go together in the same way. This one's $4.99 or $6.47. Next up, we have got the aged rope. Uh, which is brilliant, £2.49 if you want to get this one here, or $3.47, again from Sarah's Signature Nautical Collection. That one's really, really usable. And finally, one more, loads in the craft fault today, all at half price, isn't there? The Schmetterlings uh, are here for you, the Butterfly Trails are what you've got here. Loads of different stamps there. 20% of the stock of this one has also sold out and gone. Wow, uh, what a colour me happy that was. It was absolutely uh, phenomenal. It was a massive uh, pleasure to spend time uh, in the craft room with Leanne. Lovely to spend some time with you guys. We're gonna go and get ourselves all ready because there is something very special happening a little later today here on Craft TV with the launch of the Rose Gold Signature Collection in the Craft House. We're Skyping Mary in from Tennessee. Astrid's gonna be joining us uh, from Oxfordshire as well. It's gonna be a really, really uh, amazing show. I hope you can join us uh, for that in a few hours time. Until then, uh, take care and I'll see you back here a little bit later. Bye-bye.